Hello there guys, welcome to episode 5 of this gameplay. Um, so we're going to try something different today with the tactics. Uh, one of you guys suggested putting Roberto, Carlos and Duff pushing a little bit further with the arrows going to the halfway line. Uh, the team, I'm keeping Zidane in even though he's 90%, I know I shouldn't do, and Solari as well. Um, but we are playing Sociedad and we're going to see how we get on here. Um, we've, in principle, agreed to by uh, Clarence Seydorf. So he's going to come in as a replacement for Figo uh, when he leaves. So at the minute, we've only actually spent 3.5 million, um, which is really good work, to be honest, because when you think of how many people have brought in, you know, there's a lot of youth players coming in. Um, it's it's really good for us. So it, to be in that type of uh, margin in terms of that net profit and whatever, or net loss, should I say, it's actually quite a good result. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, but we must start here. On, a, on the front foot, we've got to try and win this game. There we go. Morientes with the first goal. Uh, that's brilliant. 65,000. Um, 17 points. Not bad. It's all right, to be fair. Um, Espanyol next away. Oh, they're quite close, actually. Uh, we've just got to keep winning these games. These are the games that you can't afford to, to slip up in, really. Duff's playing well, Carlos is playing well, so you know maybe that is the answer, I don't know, in terms of attacking anyway, certainly not defensive based on that, oh there we go, two strikers are playing well, yep, oh why, why on earth? This is unreal, not only that, a captain gets sent off as well. Hey, Solari, get in. That was very lucky that we got that result. It was much needed. You can see Barcelona just behind us. If they win that game in hand, they go above us. Oh, he's out for a month. <clears throat> Look at these suspensions and injuries. He got suspended for eight games afterwards, which was a bit of a, a bit of a shock. I think he did actually headbutt, if I remember. There we go. He's accepted. 15th of December is going to be a very, very good day for this football club. We're going to be getting a lot of players. Uh, future transfers on that day. All these are pretty much coming in, apart from Congo's going out, Figo's going out, and that Tote is going out as well, or Tote. He hasn't got a, um, a thing on it. Um, yeah, and only minus 3.9 million, so that's actually a really good good, um, good uh, bit of business, actually. I'm quite happy with that. Um, so we move on. I think I'm going to continue with this. Well, not the same team. I think I'm going to move a few things around, obviously, because Hierro is uh, suspended. Um, or oh, injured, sorry. Let's get him out. Um, Crank is going to have to come in. Oh, this is really annoying at the minute. Oh, I've got another defender here, central defender. Let's bring this guy in. I know, I'm delving into the old B team here. Zidane's okay. Solari's... Oh, he'll do, won't he? Morienta. To be fair, Morientes and Raul played really well, but he has been... An absolute fire at the minute, Maxime. I can't really take that away from him. So we're going to continue with this against Espanyol. Hopefully this works, especially with the counter-attack. I'd like to think that the two wingers will do a job here. Nearly a goal there. Ugh, God. So unpredictable this game, isn't it? Well, I say unpredictable. You can pretty much guess what's going to happen, can't you? Come on, get a goal. <clears throat> and I think with Seydorf coming in instead of McManaman, that'll be a much better purchase for us. I don't really think McManaman's up to it here. And I'm worried with how many yellow cards we've actually got here. It's four, there you go, McManaman, the minute I say he scores. Um, yeah, then we've got Lazio, which has no significance. So actually, we could carry on playing these guys because we've already qualified for the Champions League. But, I mean, we want to win it to go top, obviously, but it's always an opportunity to have a rejiggle. Let's see if we can get different players in. Oh my god, man. Okay. See, it's annoying because we're actually not playing that bad. I mean, yes, Roberto Carlos isn't playing the best. Shall I try and mix things up a bit? Shall I take... 
Roberto Carlos off because he's got a yellow anyway. Put Guti in there. I'm going to bring Morientes on for Raul. And let's bring Figo on as well for Maxime. Let's just see if they can do anything. Yes, Figo with the goal. That was actually really important. Go on, full time. Okay, wonderful. 2-1. Take that. Wonderful. Yep. Right. Now, I'm not going to clear all squad yet. I'm just going to have a little look and see from that point, and we'll just manoeuvre a few around because the next game also isn't actually that um, that far away. God, he's not having that much money. I'm sorry. I know I've got money to burn, but I'm not giving him a ridiculous amount of money. I do want him on a new contract, though. I do actually like him as a player, Helgera. Barcelona player there. Okay, right, he's on international duty, right, chance for Taribo anyway, Solari's knackered, so he's going to come out, we'll put Muntis back in actually, because he's not suspended, actually I forget that, he's not suspended for these games, Zidane, definitely get him out, for Guti, uh, Morientes can come in, Figo can play, Keep Manaman in. Keep Duff in. Um, yeah, let's go for that. Let's see how we get on there. I think it's still a team that could do something. And I don't see why we shouldn't get anything from this game, to be honest with you. We need a win, though, to actually finish top, because they are currently top at the minute. But why not? We owe them a bit of a hiding from last time, but they do have some quality players. Mendieta, Crespo, Stankovic, Nesta, Stam, Peruzzi, all fantastic players. But that's not to say that we don't have those players, though, as well. I mean, look at our team. Even a weakened team is a strong team. Yeah, and that would put us top at the minute. Yeah, and then we've got Bill Bow after that, which, you know, they're top, which is a massive game. I'm kind of glad that there's a space after this, which, uh, which means we can basically recover and go again. Um... But yeah, this seems to be working, this um, pushing the fullbacks up. Obviously, West is a bit different to Rebo. He's playing now, but um, Roberto Carlos is responding to it a little bit. Duff definitely is responding to it, which is really good. Um, but I might have a little jiggle around now. And put a few other people so I might bring. No, I don't. Yeah, I'll bring this guy on. I want. I want to do. Want to put Jeremy on. I'll put him on for McManaman because, to be fair, McManaman was tired anyway. So we'll we'll bring Jeremy on for the sake of it. He's more of a tackling type of player, Jeremy. If they equalise, they finish top, which would be incredibly annoying. I thought it was coming. Oh, okay. I I genuinely thought they were getting a goal then. Um, but that's not too bad. So you can see there from what we've just played there, three games, three wins with the, with the new formation, with the fullbacks pushing on. Uh, I'm going to just clear that because I want to change that for the next gameplay. But yeah, please remember to hit that like button, comment and subscribe for more videos about Real Madrid and Championship Manager 0102.